guys this is um casey from casey designs and then uh today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this really interesting logo in adobe illustrator so let's begin so i'm going to go to um illustrator file new and click on new and then i'm just going to use um, a normal squared document 2000 by 2000 pixels so i already have that custom here so 2000 by 2000 pixels so the rest i'm going to leave at default and then i'll just click create so the first thing i'm going to do is to drag in my image into illustrator so let me go find my image and then just go to my image and then drag this into illustrator cool so it's there then let me just close this then click on the space bar to kind of pan so let me pull this around here so the first thing i'm going to do is to look for my type 2 to type in the text so you can click on t on your keyboard or come to the type 2 click on that and then let me start typing so first of all increase the font size and then go to move holding shift and alt kind of scale this up a bit put this here then double click inside of the text to edit it so select everything then i'm going to type in um, the uh, m s l okay so go back to my move to then change this font to messenger So I'm using a fourth called Messenger. Messenger Pigeon Use. So click on it. And the next thing I want to do is to um, is to kind of center this. Double click inside of it, and then make this a capital letter. Cool. That's fine. Then go back to my move to selection tool. Kind of scale this up like so okay so i have this all set up now so the next thing i want to do is to convert this my type 2 into an object so for me to do that i need to go to my object expand turn on object and fill click ok so now i don't I'm, i don't have the type properties anymore so i can't edit this text anymore since it's not a shape so open up uh, right click and then on group okay they've been ungrouped so I kind of select the two of this, uh, kind of position it like so, around here, maybe closer, so around here, select the both text and then kind of rotate this like so, okay, select this two, kind of put this here. Uh, no, I can. I will, I will still shift it down uh, after com after turning it into a three D shape. That's the fine. So let me just rotate this like so. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is to select the entire shape, go to effects, then click on three D and extrude and bevel. Okay. Sorry. Before I do that, I would just like to change this up to around. A bluish color so let me go for this blue i'll change that i'll change that up later to make it look exactly, exactly like this so effects 3d extrude bevel then please turn on your preview okay so it's already giving me something similar to what i'm looking for so you guys can actually use them um, the values you have here so for this i have 8 minus 18 minus 26 8 and then for the extrude depth i'm having 50. let me see if 50 is fine yeah 50 is fine so i'm going to leave that as it is and for the bevel is unknown and then once you have perspective zero so once you have this setting on you should have something very similar to what i have here so just click click ok okay then come in and then select this so i need to i need to i still need to expand this so 
I can break the shape apart, two separate pieces will be apart, so I can give them individual gradients. So, select the entire thing. First of all, let me go, let me select this M. I'm gonna pull this down. Kind of rotate this like so. Okay. That's fine. Select this and kind of select the bolts of this. Kind of rotate this this way. A bit more. Maybe a tiny bit more. Maybe that's way too much. Like so is fine. It just me trying to get something similar to what I have here. okay so i'm going to leave this as it is that's cool so next thing i'm going to do is to select the m and then, then go to my expand expand appearance right click on group so now this should be okay on group again let's see so now i should have them as separate separate pieces so let me pull this out so you can see so now this is a separate piece so undo that then let me zoom in to get a better view on this okay just checking every single piece to see if everything's working correctly as it should okay okay now i have a piece here and then a piece down here they're both separate separate pieces so i need to merge them to be one piece so the same thing i'm going to do for the other so i'm going to click on this then let's see if I have any trailing out piece. So that's fine. Go to I go to my Pathfinder. So if you can't find your Pathfinder, just go all the way to Windows, and then scroll down. Then you find Pathfinder and just click on it to bring out this um, panel for you. So select this. I'm selecting this this again, and click on Unite. Okay. See if there's any extra piece down here. Select this. Unite, select this, select this also. Okay, select this. Unite, select this up here. Unite, do that a separate piece. Let's see. Let me drag the selection around here, like so. Unite. Okay. Unite. So I'm gonna be doing this for every single thing. Select these two piece. Unite. Select this piece. Unite also. Okay. Then I'll go to this other one. And then do the same. Expand appearance. On group. On group again let's see on group again okay that's fine so me just me trying to get a better view on this first so i want to make each piece united so when i'm so once i add my gradients they will flow without breaking apart so unite Select this to at the top. Unite. I mean, un is it union or unite? Unite. Yes, unite. Select this piece. Kind of select this piece. Unite. This two piece. Unite. Okay. This also I want to expand appearance. Expand appearance. On group, on group, okay. On group again, that's fine. So, hold my space bar to pan. So, drag a selection around here. Unite. This and this. Unite. Then this piece also, unite. And this piece. 
59. Okay, that's fine. So I have everything all set up. So control zero to zoom out. Then um I want to get my colors now. So I can decide to use this color or use something different. So it depends on, on the kind of look I'm going for. But let me get the colors I have here. So draw a rectangle. Then go back to my move to holding down alt. Drag this out to make a copy. Holding down shift also. Size constraint to a straight line. Then drag this out. Holding alt. And shift. Okay. That's fine. So for the first color. Double click in here. Okay. Instead go to my eyedropper tool. And pick this brightest color here. Okay. Go to the next one. And kind of select this dark tone okay and then go back to my move click on the third one choose my gradients click the first one go to color and then copy this x code go to this go to my gradients double click come to this menu rgb so now i can paste my s code so do the same thing for the other one also go to color copy this x code Come to the other one with gradients. Click here. Double click on this color stop. RGB. Paste. Okay. Now that's fine. So I want to start applying them to this my shape here. So kind of drag this. Kind of position this here. And then now I can pick the colors. Or maybe I use a darker tone for this. So select this again. Pick this really dark tone. Come in here. Okay, go back here. Color. Select copy. Come to this. Gradients. Double click in here. And then just paste this. Okay, that's fine. So now starting the individual colors to this. So. Let me get a better view on this. Okay. So go to my selection to select the back piece. Maybe I should kind of visualize both. Let me start with Ctrl minus to zoom out. Okay. Let me start with the main front piece. This piece here. So I drop out to select this color. Cool. <coughs> so I have that color in there. Then go to this back piece. Select this color. Okay. So select that color again. Go back to my gradient. So I want to. Push this more like so, so the edge becomes darker. That's fine. Click on this back piece, click on my on the top here, then kind of reverse this. Okay, cool. Okay, click on this piece at the back here, gradients apply this okay maybe i click on it and kind of push this out a little bit then for this piece well, i think i need to merge i need to unite this piece this and this part founder unite cool then choose this color for that then for this, I drop a two. Pick this color. Go back to my gradient and kind of reverse this. For this also, gradient. Maybe I use this on top. Okay. Maybe it needs a more darker shade. Kind of pull this here. Okay, 
Then do the same here also. Did that pit united? The knights, okay. Oh, I need to unite that piece. Unite, okay. Select that piece again and apply this radiance reverse. Okay. Then I'm going to bring this for this down piece down here. Gradients. Let me use this. Okay. Maybe I'll make it darker. Reverse. Okay. Take it back to the way it was. Then for this piece also, I need to let this top piece Pathfinder Knight. Okay. Select that piece. Let me start with the front one. Gradients tap. Let me use um, reverse this. Yeah, this is fine the way it is. Same for the back also. So I'm sure you guys get the idea already. So I'm just going to finish this up and then I'll be back. So now I'm back. So I'm done. So I'm done applying those textures as needed. Maybe I'm guessing I should send send this back. I rinse send to back. Nah, let it be in front. Okay. Maybe I just push this out a little bit. Okay. So control zero to zoom out. So I have something really cool. Similar to what I have here. So it depends on how you want to color them. I can still make this more interesting if I want to. Now I can decide to select this top one. Go to my gradients. Double click on this. And kind of make this something more interesting like so. A bit more greenish. So it all, it all depends on on the look you're going for. Maybe I choose this tone also. Then reverse this. Maybe I make this similar also. This and make this a bit more interesting. Push this here. Make another. Double click and then just make this more yellowish. So this is, this is just me playing around. Okay. Maybe that's just way too much, so. Kind of dull this down. Select that shape. And kind of dull this down. Okay, that's fine. So now I have my logo here, so let me just select this and group them, Ctrl G to group them, kind of decrease them like so. Then I want to type in my company name, so let me just draw something like this, okay. And this time I'll just make this gray, okay. And go to my transform and kind of make these rounded corners. Okay, so I need to do this for every individual piece. 16, 16, 16. Okay, 14. So let me move this, zero this out. I think now it should work, correspond, that's fine. Then take this back to the original position. Then I want to type something down, down here. So maybe I should make this blue. 
So I should make this this blue. Okay. Then go all the way to my type tool and start typing using another font called P O R I Parents One. And then I'm just going to type in um I'm going to type in Marvis. Type in Marvis. Marvis. I want to get something all caps. Marvis. Silver. Limited. Okay. So drag this down. Like so. And um, kind of auto shift and alt to increase the size. Okay. Put this around here. Okay. Go all to my type, my characters. Character. And then I want to make this bold. Okay. So let me see if I have character. Okay, I have just regular. So I want to make this bold. So all I have to do is to go to um, my object mode, expand this. Okay. Expand this, and then now I can give it a stroke. Come all the way here, give it a. Uh, um, 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 um. This gray. Let's make it thicker. Let's see how it's looking. That's cool. I'm gonna leave this as it is, then come here and use similar color. That's fine. So that's all. So I'm not going to I'm going to going to uh drag this. First of all, go to Photoshop, open a new document, 2000 by 2000. 2000 by 2000 document. It's opening up. Okay, 2000 by 2000. I'll be custom here also. So create. So I'm going to um, unlock my background. Then go to um, gradient overlay. Gradient overlay, let me use something default. For the dark parts, let me use something around here. Okay, that's for the dark parts, something darker, like so. And for the bright parts, something around here. Click OK, OK. So now I'm just going to go and find my, dragging my, dragging both of this. Now that my conflict. Now dragging this. Photoshop, drop this in here, okay, kind of increase this like so, click enter to apply that, okay, then go back to go come in here, select the both of this, select the both of this, Okay, drag this to Photoshop and drop this in here. I'm uh, gonna position this here. Uh, enter. So click on the previous one I brought in and kind of decrease this. Okay. Then I'm going to change the color overlay of this to white okay and that's it so thanks again for watching so please make sure you like and then subscribe i really appreciate that so see you in the next lesson